Boston school officials are giving parents and students an idea of what the fall might look like. WBZ's Lisa Greshi shows us the district's back to school plan. Boston is considering a hybrid plan for the more than 54,000 students across the city, meaning they would split their time between home and school, and now some teachers are pushing back against this plan. They'll have two days of in-person and then three days of remote learning. Boston School Superintendent Brenda Caselia says the kids at home will zoom into class with their peers. I think it's a misuse of time and resources. President of the Boston Teachers Union, Jessica Tang, doesn't believe this is a realistic goal for the fall. We think that the district is absolutely not ready to begin on September 10th with the hybrid plan. Instead, the Boston Teachers Union is looking to master remote learning, something that can only be done in time without the risk of bringing students back to class. This is a life or death decision and choice that folks are making. Meanwhile, we need to have the safety and health protocols that are assured before we can go back in person at all. And we've gotten none of those assurances. Superintendent Caselius says there are plans in place if a child were to get sick. Well, I want parents to know that we have their children's best interests at heart. And we are understanding this in the complexities of not just the child, but also the family and the community. Tang isn't feeling confident protocol on paper would be carried out in person. If we can go slow and get it right, then that will build trust. And when we can build trust and then we have assurances of safety and health for everyone, then we can start slow again and start small, get it right. And then as we build trust, expand um, in person when it's safe. Districts had to submit a preliminary plan to the state last week. More finalized plans are due this Monday, and the Boston Teachers Union is meeting with the district again this afternoon. Reporting in Boston, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News.